I'm back again. Um, <laughs> the problem of morality, part one. Wow. I actually just made a video about morality on my channel just a little bit ago. Uh, about an hour ago or so. And you actually tackled some of the things that I did. Now, you do realize that you actually made points for um, morality not coming from a god by talking about the different cultural aspects of what they deem moral and immoral. But the thing is, is that the judgments that you will make are based on your own moral uh, uh, moralities. As in, you know, the ones about people taking on multiple wives and so on and so forth. If morality was actually issued by a god, it would be the same morals globally unchanged since the dawn of mankind, whether through evolution, if God made man through evolution, or if the creationist story was actually correct. Morals would actually be the same all over the place. People would all see um, having multiple wives, their, their morals on that and their feelings on that would all be the same. See, what you're talking about with uh, the thing about evolutionary programming would not be unlike a god programming for morals. You see where I'm going with that? Morals are different worldwide as to what is right and what is wrong. And it's also changed over time. If that was placed by God, then would you actually say that he's been changing his mind as to what is morally correct? Also, I'd like to point out something about that you said about you being trapped on a desert island with an atheist. And about if he's gathering mangoes and stuff and all you want to go punch him in the face and stuff like that. You do realize that if it was actually about survival, it is in your best interest to be more cooperative with somebody with the skill of uh, gathering. Let's say you took it one step further and killed him. And ate him, took his mangoes, whatever. But he's no longer there. Where does that leave you? Where does that leave you? I mean, forget morals altogether. I mean, no, no, I'm sorry, because it's about morals. Morals is not just about anything with laws. As far as your instincts go, seeing the skills of this person, whether they were atheist, a different religion, he's the same religion as you, looking from a survival standpoint, it would be in your best interest to... Uh, live in a cooperative harmony with that person to work together for the uh, being able to survive it's mutually beneficial to you and that person that you are stuck on the desert island with for you to actually try to go in there and prove a point about morals and chaos is ridiculous and threatens yours and that person's survival you get that I mean, I do understand the point that you were trying to make. I did get it um, when it talked about the consequences of morals with uh, things about an authority and a higher power. The atheists would not say, oh, that was wrong and that was messed up because they're appealing to your God's authority that actually supports more of the evolutionary type of a moral behavior that you wouldn't do that because ultimately a conflict like that especially with there only being two of you threatens both of your survival but I do like the way you think it was interesting I hadn't seen that one before so you got me with that but it did not take me too long to actually come up with thoughts to um, kind of move against what you were saying just something to think about, especially with that desert island thing. That was, that was interesting. I didn't see that coming. But once again, it would be mutually beneficial to both of you to actually have a cooperative existence 
then there to be some kind of an anarchy, not because of a god, because that chaos would threaten both of your survival. So, my magic. I'll talk to you later.